So after you take everything out of the box and you've taken inventory and everything's there that is supposed to come with the unit, now you want to start setting it up. Setting it up, you want to have some snips around so you can cut zip ties. The first thing you're going to set up is your work clamp to your lead. Now, just clip this off so you can unravel it. And then we're going to just set up the work clamp. Now, the work clamp, ground clamp, slang is ground clamp. Uh, this is pretty simple. What you want to do is unscrew the nut for the work clamp. Take off the nuts and the washers. Set that down. Now, hold the screw in place with your thumb and then put the lead in and you want to put it flat down. Okay, and then just put the washers back on, put the lock washer back on, and then put your nut on, of course. So screw that down with your fingers and then use one of, your, one of your adjustable wrenches to secure that in place. So we'll just grab an eight inch adjustable wrench here. Just make sure it is secured. And you wanna, you just wanna make sure that you can press that lock washer the best you can, nice and snug. And that ought to do it. The thing you want to pay attention to when you're connecting your lead to your work clamp into the machine is that you can see it comes into the front of the machine. It's right here and then it connects to one of these two terminals. Now, depending on which terminal it is connecting to, it's going to give you either DC positive or DC negative current. As it's hooked up right now, it's on the negative. If it's on the negative, that means it has DC positive current. And that's what we want because we are gonna be using solid wire. Now, if you are gonna be using flux core wire, and you're gonna be doing some welding outside or what have you, you're gonna to wanna to switch these two terminals from the positive over to the negative and your work clamp lead to your positive. That will reverse the polarity and the DC negative polarity is better for flux core.